Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. Today we're going to carve a spoon and we're going to use the aspen for my property since I can't go up there. I actually had a friend of mine create some of these boards in his, in his wood shop. This is some um, spirit forest wood and the grain at, uh, this is an aspen. And doesn't that look really beautiful? Um, now my spirit forest wood is very twisted. So we're gonna see what kind of spoon <laughs> we're gonna come up with. Cause a lot of my trees up there, they kind of grow, I don't know, they kind of grow like this as they're growing. So they're really twisted. So we'll see what kind of spoon that we can make. Um, I did get a gift from a subscriber and it was, it was a long time ago. I have to admit it was a long time ago, but I was thinking about, you know, what kind of video could I do today that would just be kind of fun and get me kind of outside and just doing stuff. Um, it, he got me this. Uh, it's, I haven't opened it yet, obviously, and I haven't even opened it. It's just been sitting downstairs, and every time I go downstairs, which is uh, in my laundry room, <laughs> I'm like, I gotta open that. I gotta use that. Now, I don't have anything, like, for safety-wise to, I don't know, I have to figure that out. I've seen other people use, like, leather pieces or something that they can, um, so they can store it or something. I have to figure that out. But we're gonna open this. And we're gonna, and I have a Mora knife, so these are the two tools I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this and a Mora knife and, and see what I can do. Now, I don't remember the last time I made a spoon. Um, my, my friend John over at um, In the Woods with Bigfoot, he does, has a YouTube channel too. Um, I asked him if he would, because he was in my painting session um, a few videos back, and I said, hey, John, could you show me how you carve your spoon? <laughs> so um, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. You know, I watched his video, but, you know, it's been a while. Um, I, I used to watch a lot of videos on this, so I have an idea, but we're just going to play and, and see what happens. That was a lot harder to open than I thought it was going to be. And it totally bent my fingernail back to here. Ooh, I'm going to feel that one. I feel that one. Okay, here's my new tool. Check it out. Should I wear gloves? Maybe I should wear gloves because I know me. Maybe I should wear some gloves. I'm going to see. I don't even know if I have gloves here. I might have to go look. Safety first. I found some gloves. Uh, this one, which is really old, really old. And you know there's something living in there and I gotta stick my hand in there. I usually, I should keep my gloves inside. You know there's a spider in there somewhere. <laughs> I got freaked out to stick my hand in there. And then I have a garden glove. So yeah, I don't have a matching pair. That's typical of me. Oh, and if you're looking for a video that's like really fast and how to make a spoon, a wooden spoon, there's a lot of videos like that. This video is going to be me sitting and I'm chatting with you and we're just kind of hanging out and we're going to make a spoon and we'll talk about whatever comes to mind. Um, pardon me wishes I did a live video and you guys could respond. God, do you think there's a spider in there? Do you guys get scared too that there's a spider inside your glove? Like, look, there's even cobwebs on it. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Come back. <laughs> yes, I am still a girl. And I think, okay, let's get this done. <sighs> We're just gonna stick it in there. It's nothing, nothing so far. I'm just, oh. <laughs> Okay, just let me get over this and I'll get... <laughs> Dude, I felt something crunch. <laughs> it was... Ooh, like, you know, you, yeah, I have like goosebumps. Like it's... Okay, okay, I'm gonna get over this <laughs> and then I'll hit record again. <laughs> something crunch. Okay, I'm over it. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good now. It crunched. It's out of the glove. We're all good now. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, um, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a spoon. Uh, draw a spoon on my wooden board. Now, most likely I might mess this up. 
Now I make spoons like on an impromptu thing <laughs> a lot of times on my channel because I always forget a spoon on my channel when I'm out in the wilderness. Um, this, uh, you know, this I'm trying to make it a little bit nicer than my other spoons that I just kind of make really fast, which are more like a shovel. <laughs> That's usually what I make when I'm in the wilderness. So uh, I'm going to draw it on here. And I do have, if you saw them before, um, I do have extra ones too. And these are really long. Like these are, these are pretty long. This is more than 12 inches long. Um, and in fact, I think this one's a little too long too. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Do I cut it down first or not? I don't know. Okay, let's just draw the spoon first. And, uh, do, oh, do you see? Do you see the grain on it too? So that way you kind of know. Should I, because the grain's going this way, should I carve it out this way? I think so. So I'm going to draw the spoon here. I don't know if it really matters because I'm just drawing the shape at this point. Um, but that's my thought because we have the grain going this way that it might be easier to carve out rather than the other way No idea. We're gonna try it Okay, we got our spoon. It's really long, but I think I'll end up cutting it somewhere but I think I'm gonna go ahead and create it so it's really long um, just in case I mess up or something and then I'll cut it later oh another tool I have too um, I actually had this in my car thank goodness is my saw so we're gonna use a saw as well um, I am going to kind of start what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saw in to here at this point and do the same here and in fact you know what I think I'm gonna saw in just because um, it might split or something. I'm not gonna go all the way to that point. Um, I'm just gonna go part way, maybe to right there. And then I'm going to um, split this part right here. Does it look a little odd? Does it look a little uneven? <laughs> that make, gives it character, just so you know. It gives it character. It doesn't have to be a perfect spoon. I like things that are a little different, yeah. Okay, and it's fun. This is fun. Yeah, it does, you got to do some new things. I've been doing so many crafts lately. It's crazy. Okay, let's start sawing this. I'm going to listen to some music and play some music for you guys and get this. What I want to do is just start getting some of these, these, oops, some, I want to get some of these chunks out. Um, and so then I'm actually starting to carve and stuff. So let's listen to music and uh, see how it goes. said twisted right oh um, I am in my backyard so you're gonna hear kids you're gonna hear people and stuff like I'm not editing that stuff out so um, I'm in the city there's a lot of people that live around me so I split it did you see it it's the split comes down and goes here let me show you on this side so there's my spoon and the splits going right down to there so what I think I'm gonna do instead of continuing to split because I think what's gonna happen again it's, it's twisted so I started up here and you can see what it's doing and it's starting to go into my handle 
So I'm going to use my saw and start cutting across and then hopefully I'll get rid of this. And you'll see here it did just the opposite um, because the wood grain is going this way. Yeah. That little dog drives me nuts. Yeah. Brand new neighbor with a dog that has separation anxiety and they just let it bark. Breathe. It's okay, it's a little Dotson. And I like Dots. I like little dogs, but I just don't like them barking all the time. That's one thing I like about Rocky. He, he barks, don't get me wrong, he barks, but he doesn't just keep on barking over and over and over again. Okay, back to music. We're gonna see what we can do to, to fix that. I'm gonna leave the handle a bit thick like this. I'm not gonna carve it all away. I think I said that before, I'm not gonna carve it all away because I need something that's pretty sturdy as I'm doing this part here. I don't know. I'm guessing I could just use my saw. Man, yeah. people walk by. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, hi. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to use my saw and just kind of try to cut off as much as I can um, without like uh, splitting. Because again, on this side, it wants to split in like this. And that, that's going to make my spoon look really weird <laughs> if I do it that way. So got to be really careful on this side here. Um, okay, let's do this. My neighbor decided today was the day to area. Yeah, it was pretty noisy there for a little bit. I had to wait. There you go. There's my spoon. I was thinking that I would do the rest of it and we can kind of chat a little bit and and I can just kind of play with this. I wish I had like a wood shop that I could just like stand up or something, but I'm used to sitting on the ground, so this this works pretty well. I want to use that new tool. Maybe that's what I'm going to do next. Just to see how it works. I don't know. Do you guys have one of those? I don't know. John showed me a little bit. It's basically, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just kind of start carving things out. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to start carving and then that's really what's going to draw the, what the line might end up looking like. Because again, I haven't used this tool before. Maybe it will cut it all weird or something I don't know figure it's time to put this thing on now actually I wish I had it for this hand because this is, I'm right-handed um, this seems to be a little bit more secure than my garden glove with holes in it okay so there's definitely a sharp side to it Ooh, it's kind of hard to grab with this big glove. So I have a subscriber of mine 
Eric Vail. He's, he has carved me a couple spoons and I just absolutely love them. And I have him in a couple of my videos. He does such a great job. I have a lot of respect for someone with those kind of skills. So I'm trying to dig pretty deep. Again, it's kind of hard to grab it with my, my gloves on. It's coming out pretty good. Now, Aspen's a soft wood, so it should be okay to... It's not like oak or something that I think would be a lot harder to do this in. But, it, you know, it's not cutting like butter either, but... The thing is, every time I do this, or every time I've done this before, I've only used my I've only used my Mora knife, and you just can't get that that concave kind of look to it. That's why all my spoons end up looking like spatulas. Yeah, but I can figure this to be pretty dangerous if you do it. You know, because I'm pushing pretty hard, and if I slip or something, I could hurt myself so I am happy I'm wearing some sort of gloves look at that look at that it's becoming a spoon ha this is not that bad I like this knife I think it's a it's a Mora knife too isn't it it was Mora yeah that's pretty cool. I like this. I don't have one of these. This is an awesome gift. Thank you for giving me this gift. Truly appreciate it. Oh, see what I mean? See what I mean? Should I put something here? Did I just chip it? No, very good. Got to be careful because I'm on stone over here. I'm not on dirt. A lot of times I'm on dirt when I'm carving and stuff. There's no dirt for me to sit on. There's that dog again. I like being able to sit in my backyard and kind of have silence, but it just it just doesn't happen here. And I just kind of need to get over that. Look at this, I'm in a rhythm. In a rhythm. I'm getting it done. I'm gonna make this a soup spoon here soon. I wonder how big I should make it. Should I make it a little small spoon or should I make it a bigger spoon? Maybe that's how you do it. You just kind of push it in there and then you just kind of... Sorry, battery went dead. All these generic batteries that I'm using, they don't have a notification that the battery's going dead. Canon's getting smart trying to get us to use their battery, you know? So what I was saying is I think the, the key is to place it inside the bowl and then just move your wrist. That's probably, again, I'm learning this. I haven't used this tool before. It's brand new to me. So in case you are looking to purchase this same tool, this is how I do it. I'm just going to make this a big circle. I just gotta figure out do I want the spoon going in my mouth or do I wanna turn like turn food with it? I guess I could use it both ways, you know. Am I making this thing too deep? Ooh, it just chipped on that side. That's the side. This is the side that's all and it doesn't like that side. Cause it's not how do I do this? Maybe I do it this way. Because the green. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? Oh, 
I really like it. I think it's really nice. Um, there we go. I'm just making it bigger is what I'm doing. There. And I'm going to dig it out some more. It really doesn't like this area right there. Any woodworking guys out there or ladies that work with Aspen? Got any hints for me? I will take it. There we go. Hmm. I don't know. Is that deep? Probably deep enough for now. That's kind of my thought. Okay, I'm gonna chat with you a little bit while I carve some of these finer things and, and kind of get it where I'm just kind of molding everything. I um, want this to eventually be a cylinder, obviously, and this to be a, a shape of this spoon. Um, I'm a little nervous. See, look at that. I need some more garden gloves. Um, I'm gonna, I'm a little nervous about this side because it wants to split right into the spoon. Yeah. So I guess my topic today of discussion, just for fun and just so you guys can keep me company while I'm doing this, I don't have my kids this, this week, so it's kind of nice to be able to talk to you guys without a lot of distractions too, is um, creativity and how important it is to be creative. Um, I've done a lot of paintings, I've done... Um, other type of creative stuff. You saw me do some some clay. I did some clay and made some like fairies and, and stuff like that too. Um, I find myself when I'm stressed, what I'll do is I just start creating things. This is actually really hard to hold on to it. Um, so how important creativity is and if you you know with a world of the way it is right now we got a lot of depressed people out there and you know I find myself a little more short fused and a little bit more I would consider myself depressed but there is something in me right now that I feel I'm lacking and uh, by being creative I, I feel that it that it helps me and you know, just like even making a spoon is creative, you know, it keeps my mind busy because when you're painting or you're doing something else, um, I'm just going to switch sides because I get bored of one side already. Um, ooh, this comes off pretty good on this side. Look at that big old chunk. Um, by being creative, you kind of focus your mind on something else than what's truly bothering you. And I just, you know, some of you might say that, hey, I don't really need, I don't really like to paint or I don't like to carve, but there's always something that I find that everyone likes to do. And it's, and it's a way of being creative. So find whatever that is to you. It could be gardening, you know. Um, so find something that, that keeps your mind busy during this time if you feel possibly depressed or for me it's just um, I feel um, I guess this feeling of aggravation is is coming over me because I I'm not allowed to go in the mountains and I'm not allowed to do, do certain things and you know there's a lot of rules out there right now and and uh, I'm obeying the rules and I'm doing really good um, I, I have done everything the governor has asked and, you know, um, and I'm not sick and, uh, I guess knock on wood for that, huh? I'm not sick, but, you know, my outlet a lot of times is being in the mountains and just being able to hear silence is a big part of my outlet and I'm not getting that and I, and I know it's affecting me. Um, feel it. And I do plan on being up there here soon. 
Um, they are changing the rules, but I just, uh, I'm trying to be creative. I think I've painted uh, five paintings now. I have done um, another painting like class and stuff for a group of ladies out in Washington and it was a lot of fun and I really really enjoyed that it might be something I might look at doing in the future it was a lot of fun you know you got beginner painters and and uh, some other painters that are a little bit more uh, novice you know in it and, and know kind of know what they're doing my spoon is getting lopsided you see that it's kind of lopsided but I'm really scared of this part because it is, it is like really, it wants to split this way. I don't know. You know, if my, if my spoon ends up getting lopsided, it gets lopsided. I don't really care. It is what it is. I'm fine with it. Be lopsided spoon. Um, you know, I've, I've actually uh, subscribed to a new channel uh, on YouTube. And I, uh, it's a painter, and he's only been painting for, God, what's his, his channel name is, um, Paintings by Justin, I think is his channel. I really, really like it. Um, I plan on doing a mural, and I need him to, I'm like, I need him to help me do this mural. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't need him. I'm just saying that, um, um, I am getting some ideas from him because he paints really fast. He does paintings in like two hours and they're amazing paintings of landscapes and mountains and stuff like that. All right, got kind of, got kind of loud here. Somebody's truck was really loud. Okay, so um, I've been wanting to do this mural and I'm, you know, trying to learn and stuff and uh, actually my daughter Madison and I are going to do one of his live paintings. He does live paintings as well and we're going to try to do that. It seems to me as, a, as if his, his work is really not for the true beginner but more for somebody that has painted a few times, you know. Um, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I... Uh, I'm happy I found him and, and he's kind of, he's gone through a lot as well. Not that I want to talk about his channel that much. It's just, I just letting you guys know that these are the things that I'm kind of doing. And, and, um, and, you know, he makes good points too about how creativity is, is a, a way of like therapy, so to speak, you know, um, it's, this has been hard on me to be able to stay in the city and stuff. And, uh, all my life since I've lived in Colorado, which is since 1992, I've been in Colorado. I've been able to go in the mountains anytime I want, and I'd probably be up there at least uh, once a week, you know, on the minimum, once a week. And now, I don't know. I don't remember the last time, three weeks ago, I think was the last time I drove my car, <laughs> you know? Oh, I had to go to the post office. Yeah, and that was it. That was the last time I drove my car in three weeks. I had to go to the post office. Somebody sent me something, so I had to go pick it up. But other than that, I walked everywhere I needed to go. This is going to take a while. You know what? I think I'm going to be sore after this. <laughs> uh, so I like to kind of get it. So that way I can kind of cut it like an angle or something, you know? I don't know if I'm getting the right angle on the camera, but kind of cut it at an angle. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Just a lot of work, a lot of patience. But the cool thing is, it's like, I really am not doing anything else today. I've painted the majority of the inside of my house. <laughs> I've been working on my house, getting it, you know, kind of ready to sell. Um, not that I'm selling anytime soon. I'm not. But, um, yeah, but eventually I'm going to have to sell it and it's going to have to be painted on the inside. Yeah, that's not bad. It's getting there. It's getting there. All I'm doing is just taking off little pieces here and there. Because it splits so weird that I'm using my knife. Now, I'd probably use my saw a little bit more. But because it, it just wants to split through it, 
Uh, that's why I'm using my knife more. <laughs> Look at that. It's like caveman spoon. <laughs> caveman. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I'm going to keep going at this here. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn up the camera for a little bit. I'm going to play some music and stuff for me. And I'm going to start carving some more. And then I'll turn the camera on. And you guys can kind of see where I'm at. I'll try not to get too far ahead. Um, so that way you can kind of see. But basically all I'm doing is just carving it until it looks like a spoon. I just take out a little pieces of wood. My hand. Oh, it's throbbing. Look how red it is. I think it's from the glove, though, most of it. Ugh. And some... Some, uh spider parts <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get a blister right there I feel it it's coming this is hard work you guys this is hard work to do this now does it look any different to you I don't know to me it looks like the same except you see how that happened yeah just totally cut off that side of the spoon so I think I'm gonna have to make a lopsided spoon it's gonna be one of those spoons where this side's gonna be a little bigger <laughs> or this side down here sorry I was out of the fr frame what do you think? What do you think? Is it coming? Is it getting there? I think it's pretty good. Still pretty thick though. Um, I'm a little nervous to start working on the handle. I really want to get this spoon part down first. I think that'd be good. So I think I've been working on it for like 20 minutes. I put the I turned the camera off, played some music, and just kind of chilled out and start working on it. Um, yeah, I think that. Uh, Let's, uh, let's continue a little bit more. I've been using these wood blocks so that way I don't ruin my knife because it's kind of like concrete under me. Um, it's kind of looking a little bit like my spatula. <laughs> if you've seen my channel, you know that I get this like famous spatula that you guys all talk about. I was out in the woods and I made us this big old spatula and I think the handle is this big too. <laughs> oh, So while I was gone, which wasn't much time for you, but for me it was, did you come up with your, uh, what skill that you do to keep yourself entertained? You know, what kind of artistic skill that you might have? Um, I'm curious, uh, write in the comments below. It's not that I need more hobbies, but you know, you never know. I might come up with something else. This is this is hard. Ugh. Yeah, just trying to make it not so bulky. It's pretty thick. It's probably like a half inch or so. So I got a lot I can still cut off here. Again, it's just splitting really weird. Well, I wish you were here. We would probably just be sitting in my backyard. And it's such a beautiful day. It's, I think it's in the 70s here. It's really, really nice out. I thought about going for a walk, but honestly, I'm walking so much. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing, but I'm doing like five to six miles a day, which I guess isn't that bad. There's some weekends where I'm doing like um, 10 to 12 miles. Um, but uh, are you getting outside? Yeah, I'm getting outside, but it feels like I'm playing like avoid the people game, you know, <laughs> where you see somebody coming and then you got to cross the street and then somebody's coming, you cross the street again. It's kind of what I'm doing, but it just it doesn't make it as fun. I do try to get into nature a bit too when I can, the, the nature in the city. Um, last night I went for a walk and I shot some of these pictures I'm going to show you. It was really pretty. It was a nice, beautiful sunset. Um, I don't see the, the homeless. They usually live around this area there. And I usually, I haven't seen any of them. So I think that they're, they're building up shelters and stuff for the homeless, which I think is great. I'm really proud of our city for doing a lot of that. Um, but I really haven't seen that many homeless around. Hopefully they're okay. Oh. 
Oh no, no. Did it split okay? Shoot, see this is what I do. Oh well, it's already split, let's see what happened. Good one. Oh no, that one is okay. That one's okay. Whew. I'm like, I do not want to start over. I thought about it. I was like, oh, I got two more boards. So if I mess up, I'll just start over. No, my hand hurts. <laughs> I'm not starting over. This spoon's going to be it, you guys. This is going to be it. We're going to make it work. I do have some sandpaper somewhere in my garage that I could use, too. I think I'm gonna cut some more here. I have this like tip to it. You see this? It's like it's like a little tip. That's actually really hard to get out. It's really hard. Okay, I'm gonna continue with this. I'm going to turn off the camera, play my music again. I hope that you're going to be doing something creative today. I usually do something once a day. I do something creative once a day. Um, so find something creative to do today. So I went inside really fast because I wanted to show you something. And This is for people that don't know what I'm talking about. I realize that some people don't know what I'm talking about when I talk about Eric Spoons um, that he gave me. Um, this was the first spoon that he gave me and it has a date of uh, 2018. Um, look how nice that spoon is. <laughs> That's a very nice spoon. Um, and then he carved my logo on it as well. Um, I did actually recently just show these spoons um, on my Patreon channel um, to those that um, are looking at my cabin stuff. I do post every week about my cabin. Um, updates on the cabin, things that are going on. That's more for people that are, you know, maybe you're looking to buy a cabin or purchase a cabin, or you're just curious what's going on with the cabin stuff. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, weekly I post something. Um, here's another one he did with a little bear. Let me get out of the frame so you could, so it keeps trying to focus on me. There we go. Take my face. There. Isn't that, that is the cutest little bear. I just love it. That's also in uh, 2018. Um, and uh, he's working on another project for me that I will talk about later in another video. So, this is Eric's spoons. And that's, this is my spoon. <laughs> Eric, I'm trying. If you're watching this video, I'm, I'm trying, trying. Um, but, I'm trying to see like the thickness and stuff of it as I'm carving it. Obviously, I'm not I'm not done yet, you know. But uh, look at the difference in the color of wood too. Um, I don't know what kind of wood this is, um, but I'm just trying to figure out. I went and got these spoons because I wanted to know um, the circumference of the the handle, you know, because I was starting to trim some of the handle down, and I'm like, I don't want to do too much. But it looks like I still need to do a little bit more, and I was kind of curious of how he how he did this area here. Now this is like completely flat, and I was trying to make mine like rounded. Now it doesn't matter. I don't need to make my spoon exactly like his, um, and I'm guessing that I should probably, you know, when I sand it too, I can kind of form it a little bit as well. I don't know. Um, mine has, I got a little crazy with the, you know, deep diving into the spoon, so mine is definitely a lot, um, I don't know, it's more of a scoop, you know, like I can, I can eat, drink soup with it or something like that, but, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting this area out a little bit more just to make it bigger, I guess only on this end because this is cut off. <laughs> It's all good. It makes it, that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it unique. And this is just a fun project today. Um, you know, I'll see how far I can get it done today. I don't know how long I've been working on it now. I think it's probably been about an hour or so.
closer and closer and closer. Mm. And uh, so, yeah, I think my thickness is almost the same size as his. Um, this bone's a little different. Um, I'm going to sand it as well. Um, but I want to show you that you see how his, his back end is flat. Remember I said that and mine's a little more rounded. I want to show you why. I think I'm going to make mine flat like his. And let me show you why. Okay. So if I put it on something, you see how it's wobbly like that? Yeah. Oh, and it's really thick right there. Maybe I need to trim that off too. Okay. So if I, if you see his, again, I'm kind of using his as a model. It's not really that, well, he's got a bear there too, but it's not really that wobbly because it's flat on that side. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of make this flat. And again, if I'm really nervous because this is splitting and it's, it's coming this way, so I gotta be really careful on how I take this off um, right here. But I think I'm gonna make it flat and then I'm gonna start sanding it. And then hopefully I can get rid of a lot of these little marks and stuff on it and these little, you know, you're not going to want to eat little chips of wood. <laughs> the storm is coming. So I got to be done here soon. I can, I can feel it, you know, where you can feel the storm coming. And it's starting to get a little windy and a little chilly. Yeah. So, here it is. All sanded. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Looks like this part sticking out, but it does sit really well. I'm very happy about that. I, uh, it's it's fuzzy. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see. It's it has this like fuzziness to it. <laughs> My aspen is a fuzzy aspen. Um, I would not say it's the prettiest spoon, but um, but it was it's been fun. It has been fun um, creating this, and that's kind of what I wanted to do and. I went and I got some oil. Maybe it won't be so fuzzy. Yes. Vegetable oil. What is that, Rocky? Oh, he doesn't like that sound. What is it, Rox? He usually howls. Oh! Do you hear him? That is my 120 pound Rottweiler. Let me see, I'll show it to you. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Okay. Um, I got so dust in my eye. <laughs> and you like Rocky. And I live next to a, uh, I don't think that, I think that was a police um, sound, but I do less, live next to a fire station and uh, <laughs> Rocky does that usually every time. So I'm putting some vegetable oil <laughs> on my spoon because that's the only oil I have. I don't know what kind of oil do you usually put on wood. I just wanted to put something on there that wasn't, um, oops, getting windy, that wasn't bad for me. So, I don't know, maybe vegetable oil is bad. I don't know. I think it keeps the spoon pretty well, but maybe it'll make it so it's not so fluffy. <laughs> Does that happen to your wood too, or is that just aspen? I don't know. It's like soaking this up. It really is. I'm, I'm just going to try to I'm going to, I'm going to put oil on it and then I want to show it to you so you can see. Again, this has been a fun project for me for sure. It's not the prettiest, you know, but uh, and, but my hands are getting about done. I don't know if you could see, like right there, it's, that's tender. Yeah, my body's about done. I think I spent about two hours uh, working on this spoon. There we go. It's all oiled with some vegetable oil, but still kind of fluffy though. Still kind of fluffy. There you go. Da, 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 da. You can kind of see, you see where it's like fluffy here. 
Did I do something wrong? That maybe I used the wrong sandpaper. I don't know. But uh, I did try to round the corner a bit. I did okay with it. It was really hard to get the sandpaper inside here. Um, I know I can see myself playing with this one later. You know, just keep keep sanding it and sanding it until you get what you want it to look like. Um, my my cricket spoon. So, you know, as you, if you're going through some depression or loneliness or whatever it may be that's affecting you during this time, um, oh, today's date is April, I think, 26th, Sunday, whatever, I don't know, Sunday. And uh, if you're going through stuff, you know, get creative. Go outside and, and create stuff. You know, create a spoon or something. Um, and I don't know what it is that, that you like to do to be creative. Um, and again, it doesn't need to be. A lot of people say, well, I'm not an artist. I can't do that kind of stuff. You know, I've had a, I have a friend of mine that said that she's really jealous because I'm always busy and I always got all these creative things. But I was like, she's really creative too. Like, she's a wonderful writer. And I've been trying to tell her to, you know, write a book, write poems, write something, you know, because I think that would that would help. And it does help because it gets your mind off of all this stuff that's going on and gets you like focused on something because you're you're being creative about it. It's a different kind of focus. Um, and that's what I like about it. And my spoon. It smells like vegetable oil. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love my spoon. So again, thank you for joining me today. Uh, next week's videos, I'm going to have two videos next week. One's going to post on Tuesday and another one's on Thursday. And it is a little bit of my Viking stuff. I have posted a Viking video in a long time and I think it was um, time to post one. So you will see a video here short, uh, next week on some Viking stuff and I had a lot of fun and it was recorded ahead of time because um, I wasn't in the mountains. I haven't been in the mountains yet I and mean, I've been kind of pushing off this video but I think it's time now to to post it and it um, has a lot to do with um, this necklace right here which I've been wearing during this this entire time. So I hope you enjoy those videos, those Viking videos next week and um, I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye, and thank you for joining me.